Hey, we've got a special Christmas video coming out right now. One Christmas wish for every MLB team, 2021 edition. We're going to look at it, all 30 teams and give them one Christmas wish. So, that's what we're going to do in today's video. But before I get into this video, though, if you want great baseball content throughout the lockout, throughout the rest of the offseason that we do have left, make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn notifications, and leave a like. This is a place to be for great baseball content on YouTube, so make sure you subscribe to this channel. Let's go start off in the American League East, and we will start off with the Tampa Bay Rays. The Rays have a very solid team right now. They have players like Wonder Franco, who they just signed to an extension. Shane McClanahan, um, they've got a lot of great players on this team. But I think their one wish is to actually spend money for once. I think if they spend a little bit of money on some of these key top players, they would be the clear-cut favorite to win the World Series. Just spend a little bit more money and re-sign these players and don't trade them every time you get a really good player, which they get a lot of. This race team, there's not too much besides that that you can wish for. This race team's really good. They can make a great pitcher out of literally nothing. They could make me into a great pitcher, and that's saying something. Next up is the Baltimore Orioles. And I think the Baltimore Orioles is all their top prospects are really good in the next couple of years. San Adley Rushman, who's one of the better prospects in baseball, and is ranked number one on the MLB Pipeline. Grayson Rodriguez and D.L. Hall are also guys. And Grayson Rodriguez, who's the best pitching prospect in all of baseball right now, ranked number seven on the MLB Pipeline. And you've got D.L. Hall. They've got some good pitching prospects and also some good outfield prospects that they drafted in the last two years, being Colton Cowser and Heston Kirkstad. Next up for the Toronto Blue Jays, you would love to find the next Marcus Simeon, Robbie Ray type player that breaks out. But the main thing that you're looking for is a really good reliever, somebody like Kenley Jansen. And I think Kenley Jansen would be one Christmas wish for them. Because as much as they would like to find a Robbie Ray or Marcus Simeon type player, getting a guy like Kenley Jansen would be absolutely great for them and clutch for them. Considering all they really need is a bullpen, a couple bullpen arms. And this team looks really, really good. They already look really, really good, but they look even better. With a couple bullpen arms like Kenley Jansen and a couple others, this team looks really, really good. Next up, Boston Red Sox signing Carlos Rendon is their Christmas wish. Them signing Carlos Rendon would be something different for them. Something, it would be really, really good. They already have a star lefty in Chris Sale, and they have another one in Nathan Avaldi. But getting Carlos Rendon into this rotation would be crazy good for them. And this team really could be looked at as a World Series favorite if they could sign a big free agent. And I think Carlos Rendon would be that guy. Next up is the Yankees, and I think they should definitely look to trade for Matt Olson. Olson's a left-handed, power-hitting, high or semi-high batting average hitting first baseman that plays for the Oakland Athletics. And the Athletics are looking to trade some of their pay pieces. So why not look at a team like the Yankees, who I think would be willing to part with a lot of good players. I don't think they'd be willing to part with Volpe, but I think they could be willing to part with somebody like Dominguez, as crazy as that sounds to people. Luis Gill, Debbie Garcia also could be on the block, and the famous package of Miguel and Duhar and Clint Frazier could also be on, in there. And next is the Cleveland Guardians. And the Cleveland Guardians, I think they really don't have too much of a wish. I, it's a big wish, obviously. And that's to win the World Series. The Guardians have yet to win the World Series in 73 years. Obviously had the big 3-1 choke in 2016. I'm sorry that you had to hear that, Guardians fans, on Christmas or whenever you're watching this video. But that they win a World Series. They haven't won one in 73 years. It doesn't seem very likely because they don't spend a lot of money. They trade all their star players. It doesn't seem very likely that they win it too much of any time soon. Kansas City Royals, their prospects develop quickly and nicely. It's pretty much their Christmas wish. They don't have a lot to look forward to as far as the current Major League team on the roster besides Savile Perez. And they should look to trade with Merrifield as well. Next up for the Twins, the exact same sentence. Their prospects develop quickly and nicely. They've got some very good prospects in that farm system, such as Trevor Larnish, Simon Woods Richardson, um, Austin Martin. They've got a lot of good prospects in that farm system. Royce Lewis. Who was a first overall pick in 2016. Not a lot of people really know too much about him just because he's been injured quite a bit. Next up is the White Sox. And for them, it's re-signing Carlos Rendon. 
They need a top end guy in that rotation. Um, they don't need, but they would obviously want to re sign Carlos Rondon after posting a 2.38 ERA in 2021 for the White Sox. They would love to bring this guy back, and I think Rondon definitely wants to come back. He has some interest from some other teams, such as the Red Sox, Dodgers, Angels, and some more. And next up is the Detroit Tigers. They already signed Javier Baez, Eduardo Rodriguez. Um, before the lockout happened. But I think that they should look to, or one wish for them, would be to sign Carlos Correa too. Them signing Carlos Correa would be crazy. I mean, you're looking at an infield of the future that's a really good infield. I mean, you're looking at Turkelson at either first or third, and you're looking at Correa Baez. They're looking like a really, really good team in that AL Central, and a team that's going to be competitive with the White Sox, which is something that we didn't see last year. Next up for the is the Texas Rangers, and they made a lot of big moves this offseason. They got a lot of Christmas wishes before Christmas even happened, before even really Thanksgiving happened, for that matter. And that being getting some quality, I mean, they got obviously signed Mark Simeon, Corey Seager, but getting some quality pitching would be something that would help them out a lot. Signing John Gray doesn't move too much of the needle for me. I think it'll be very solid for them. They also have to have somebody besides John Gray, and they simply don't have that right now. Next up is the Oakland Athletics, and the Athletics need to find a home. It's pretty clear that the Athletics need to find a home. I think they find that home in Las Vegas, Nevada, if I'm being honest. I think Las Vegas, Nevada would be a good spot for them. Um, this is a team that, you know, they're looking to trade some big superstars as well, such as Matt Chapman, Matt Olson, Frankie Montas, Chris Bassett. They're looking to trade a lot of pieces. Um, getting some good prospects back is also a good one. Next up is the... Angels. This is pretty clear. Doesn't take a lot. It's either pitching or getting Mike Trout a World Series, and it's getting Mike Trout a World Series, and Shohei Otani for that matter. Getting them a World Series is the key. It's been the key for the last five years, but still, it's more of a key. Let's get Mike Trout and Shohei Otani a World Series. I'm sick of seeing Mike Trout on a losing team, even though he's not been playing too much the last couple of years. Next up, the so Houston Astros. It's clearly resetting Carlos Correa. It's not much else. Um, they obviously would like to have a healthy Justin Verlander as well. But Carlos Correa is the main key point of resigning because he might have been the best player, honestly, last year that led them to a World Series run. Obviously, they came up short. But still, it was a very decent um, and good World Series run. And next up, the Seattle Mariners, and the last team in the American League. And they theirs is signing Chris Bryant. Brian, I think, would be a great fit for the Midwest team, the Mariners, and I think it would be a great fit to bring Chris Bryan in. He's definitely not going back to the Giants. That's kind of already been said. And the Mariners have some interest. There doesn't seem to be too much of a Chris Bryant market right now. I think the Mariners fit in greatly, whether he wants to play third or left, whichever place he wants to play. The Mariners, I think, will find a spot. Next up, let's head to the NL West, actually. And the Diamondbacks... They don't have a lot of hope, um, but it is, but it is a wish. So, for the Diamondbacks, it's that their prospects develop quickly, and maybe they trade Cattel Marte for some good prospects as well. Next up for the Colorado Rockies, re-signing Trevor Story, I think is a big one. They need a piece to build around, and they just don't have that right now. Um, Marquez is not the build-around piece for me right now. Um, so I think that for the Rockies, it's re-signing Trevor Story. I think that they could possibly get him, and um, yeah. Next up, San Francisco Giants. They make a big splash to replace what they lost from last year. That's what the San Francisco Giants should hope for, is making that big splash, because they've lost a lot. They've lost Kevin Gosman, Buster Posey to retirement. They've lost a lot this offseason, and whatever his name is, has got to make a big splash. I think Nick Castellanos would be a good fit. I think there's a lot of good fits. It's just the Giants need to make that big splash. They, not, they need to get that star pitcher. Logan Webb's good, but I think they could use another one. Alex Cobb's not going to be that, I don't think. Next up is the San Diego Padres, and this one's kind of simple. They perform on the field next year. They didn't really perform too well on the field, clearly, in 2021, even though having a very good team on paper, they didn't perform. One thing to key to that is Fernando Tatis Jr. staying healthy the whole year. And just to be honest, their whole team staying healthy in 2022 because it, they certainly didn't in 2021. Next up for the Dodgers, the Dodgers, I think their wish is signing Freddie Freeman. I think that, I mean, they've had a lot of interest in Freddie. 
as much as they would like to re-sign Kershaw, Freeman's the better player at the end of the day. And if you could get him for near the same price, I think you should go for Freeman. He's wanting six years, $180 million. There's no reason why Freddie would want to leave the Braves, but if there was another NL team, it probably would be the Dodgers that's most likely to compete. But I think he will go back to the Braves, to be honest. Next up is the NL Central. For the Reds, they stop being stingy with money. That's their one wish. They need to stop being stingy with money. They've been really stingy with money the last two off seasons. Um, and this off is going to cause them to probably not re-sign Nick Castellanos. Pro- probably, possibly, trade guys like Tyler Malley, Luis Castillo. A lot of good players. Next up for the Pirates, their prospects become stars. Players like O'Neill Cruz, Leover Perguera, Quinn Prester. So many of these guys that Henry Davis, so many of these guys that the Pirates have, they just want them to become good superstars in the making in the major leagues. That's what the Pirates want. They know they're not going to be competing in 2022, or at least I hope they're not that stupid. Next up is the St. Louis Cardinals, and them signing Trevor Story, I think, would be a big deal for them. Signing Story and reuniting him with Nolan Arenado would be a great thing, I think. I think reuniting him with Nolan Arenado, I think it would be a great thing. And the final thing, or or final team in the National League Central, Chicago Cubs. This one is a really big wish, but it's signing Carlos Correa. There's a lot of interest from what we're hearing that the Cubs have a lot of interest in signing Carlos Correa. And even Marcus Stroman wants it. I think that they need to sign Carlos Correa. I think it would be fun to see a team that's still not very good. I mean, they would have a little fun, interesting team there. I don't think it would be too bad. It'd probably be just around average. Next up is the Washington Nationals. And there would be to get a Juan Soto extension done ASAP, meaning as soon as possible after the lockout. And for the Nationals, they need to get a Juan Soto extension done. As much as I think they should trade or Juan Soto should leave that place and get the heck out of there, I don't know if that's going to happen if they offer him um, enough money. And he's probably going to get upwards of $400 million in free agency or whatever. And next up is the Miami Marlins. And Jeter spends more money, and they sign Trevor Story. Now, Jeter's been known to kind of be a little stingy with the money in the past. For a guy that's pretty dang rich, which every owner in Major League Baseball is. But, um, and they signed Trevor Story, I think, would be one. Next up, New York Mets. They don't disappoint for once. They always disappoint. They always get injured. They always do this. They always do that. It's the manager with Luis Rojas. You got Buck Walter in there now. So do something. Don't disappoint for once. The Phillies signing Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant, you know, getting him... With Bryce Harper, Bryce Harper and him are good friends coming from Las Vegas. Why not group them up together? Bryce Harper was about to go to the Cubs, so why not group them up together? Final team, the Atlanta Braves. The defending um, the defending World Series champs, the Braves have two tasks. Resigning Freddie Freeman and repeat. That's two wishes. I'm a Braves fan. So you know that those are some two pretty key wishes. Resigning Freddie, which is going to take six years, $180 million from what it seems like, which is a lot of money over six years for a guy that's already in his um, early 30s. And repeating the World Series, that's a tough task to do, I'll say that. Um, but I would love to see the Braves do those two things. And yeah, that's one Christmas wish for your favorite team. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications, because like I said, if you want great baseball content throughout the lockout, throughout the new year, make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn notifications, and leave a like. Thank you for watching, and peace. Merry Christmas.